what's up mga kabesh? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Nomfem Angel. And for today's video, what I'm gonna be sharing to you is another tips about relationship. Yes, mga kabesh, medyo nag-i-enjoy ako talaga, no? Magbigay na mga tips with regards to a healthy relationship. And this time, what I'm gonna be sharing to you is 10 ways to be more mature in a relationship. So, without any further ado, let's just roll the intro! Kasi, alam niyo mga kabesh, isang relasyon, kailangan natin maging mature para ito daw yung isa sa mga secret ingredient na naglo-long last yung isang relationship. And I know a lot of people like me, single, charot, that a lot of people is really, really looking forward to have a very serious, not really that serious, but a happy and healthy relationship with their partner. So, I'll be happy to give you 10 ways to be more mature sa inyong relasyon. Para naman kahit pa paano nakatulong ako na somehow to help everyone be more mature and to help everyone to have a good relationship with their partner. So, number one, you have to address all or the needs of your relationship first. Yes, kasi masasabi mo na matured ka na sa inyong relasyon kapag kakaya mo nang i-address lahat ng problema or kapangangailangan ng inyong relasyon. Alam nyo kasi, mga kabesh, selfishness is, has no room to any of our relationship. And the idea of commitment with someone, that means that you think and decide with not only about you, but also with the person that you, you're with is a way of showing maturity. And maturity means that you're making the right decision and working the goals with the same benefits with your partner or significant other. So, kapag matured ka na sa iyong pag-isip or sa inyong sarili, that, mean, that means that you can address any needs that your relationship has. Yun nga yung sinasabi nilang isang sign din na magiging mature na kayong dalawa sa relasyon. Number two, you also need to learn the values of trust, respect, and sincerity with your relationship. Because yes, mga kabesh, the value of these three is the most important ingredients to be happy and have a healthy relationship. You need to make sure that once that you go through this relationship, you trust your partner. Second, you also need to give them respect because this will definitely strengthen your relationship and make sure that you can work as one together. Pagkatapos, you also need to make sure that you appreciate the sincerity of each expressive genuine love and affection to towards each other. Kaya these three main ingredients is also important in a relationship and you will know that you're mature enough if you know how to value this. Number three, you have to accept the reality that people aren't perfect. Yes, kabesh. Kasi kahit partner mo, hindi naman yan perfect. Hindi big sabihin na pumasok ka sa isang relasyon na you'll be perfect person. Hindi ganun yun. Because everyone has its own flaws. Sabi nga nila, lahat naman may toyo, lahat naman may topak. Walang perfectong tao. Pero, because of this imperfection, that makes that this person perfect for someone. Why? Because kapag nag-blend kayo together and you're mature enough to face that your partner is not perfect, then definitely, you will understand a lot of things about your partner. So, 
yun. That's being said, pag one short ka na, maintindihan mo na yung topak niya, yung tono niya, yung kakulitan niya, and you accept that person by heart. Number four, you have to look at the things from your partner's perspectives. Yes, Kabesh, kasi isa isang relasyon, and if you're a mature person to, you know, to have a relationship with a mature per people or person too, you have to make sure that you're not the only one deciding for everything. You also need to consider your pars your partner's perspectives. Baka naman kasi kapag nag-decide ka sa isang bagay, eh, masasaktan yung kapartner mo. So, in that way, kapag matured ka na, may isip mo din palagi na, teka lang, hindi ako lahat dapat ang magdedesisyon. Dapat malaman ko rin kung ano yung opinion at kung ano yung gusto ng kapartner ko. In that way, you will have a very healthy relationship towards your path. And also, you can easily, you know, you can easily connect with your partner if you will think that way. Number five, you need to practice the patience and also always choose forgiveness. Yes, Kabesh, kasi di ba sinabi ko nga kanina, kan kanina, yung not perfect. Kasi pagka ang isang tao pumasok sa isang relasyon and you're also mature enough to accept that your partner is not perfect, you, you will go through this, um, this kind of vulnerable na pwede kang maging masaya at pwede ka rin i-break nitong tao ko. But, in that point, sabi nga nila, di ba, kapag nagmahal ka, you're giving them the right na saktan ka. But, if you really love this person and you're matured enough to face the trials that you're going through, then definitely, forgiveness will always follow. Wala nga perfecto, so, Number six, accept the fact that your relationship can't be perfect. Wala namang ang tinatawag na perfect. Kung ta kanina, tao yung hindi perfect, yung relationship hindi rin yung perfect. Kasi, di ba sabi nga nila, wala namang perfect couples. Talagang dumadating sa punto na magkakaroon ng imperfection ng bawat isa. Pero again, if you're matured enough to face everything, every trials, and everything with your partner, that imperfection makes you together perfect with each other. Just like what I have mentioned in the previous um, line, these are the days that your love will definitely come first. Because in this way, everything is just a part of challenges and process to make your relationship stronger and even better. Number seven, you also need to realize the destructive consequences of overthinking. Overthinking, meaning, ito yung mga bagay na pwedeng makasira sa relasyon nyo or negative thoughts. Like for example, ito yung mga jealousy or yung paranoid. You're getting too paranoid that yung partner mo ay may involve to someone else. Jealousy is part of relationship. Yes, it is also healthy for you to actually feel a little bit jealousy, but not to the point na kakainin ka ng selos na to. Kasi that may fail or that may destroy your relationship. And if you're matured enough to face whatever you feel towards your partner, always think that you gave them 100% of your trust para maging healthy ang isang relasyon at you will know that you're matured enough if you can face that kind of kind of problem. Yes, mga kabesh, this is very important kasi itong destructive consequences of overthinking, ito talaga yung madalas nakakasira ng relasyon, lalo na kapag sa babae. Kasi alam nyo, hindi namin mag-iiwasan na sometimes some other girls I'm not saying everybody, okay? Some other girls are very insecure, especially in different ways. Different ways. Like, for example, you're with your ex-girlfriend and you guys are still together. May ibang mga babae na nag-overthink na agad. But, with that kind of situation, girls, 
always remember, give your 100% trust to your partner. Kasi, wala pa naman silang ginagawa para makasila ng relasyon nyo. Unless, they did it once. Yan ay isang problema. Kapag ginawa nyo na isang beses, yan din ang magiging problema. But if you were able to forgive your partner, you were able to get forgive your partner, always remember, pinatawad nyo na siya. Kaya huwag nyo nang ulit-ulitin yung naging dahilan ng inyong pag-aawa ay muntik ng pagkakahiwalay. Dahil if you're matured enough to face that kind of situation na hindi maiiwasan, then definitely, you can be a perfect couple. Not really perfect, but imperfection makes perfect couples. Number eight, be more sensitive and always take time to listen. Yes, Kabesh, kasi kapag matured ka na, Alam nyo yun, you're also being sensitive dun sa needs ng partner nyo. Hindi kasi tinatawag na one-way relationship yan. Dapat dalawa kayo. Give and take. And you also need to give time to listen. Kasi kapag matured ka na, maiintindihan mo na lalo yung partner mo. You will always think not only for yourself but also for your partner. So, if you're sensitive enough to think and to know the things that she needed or he needed, and you also listen to what they, what are those needs, then definitely you can easily face all those, all those, all those problems that you're facing together. That's a healthy relationship. Number nine, admit your mistakes and learn from them. Alam mo kasi, ito yung isa sa pinakamahirap na factor eh. Kapag ka nasa isang relasyon. Ka kasi, nagiging matured ka kapag ka natutunan mo aminin yung mga pagkakamat mo. Yes, Kabesh. Kasi eh, ang hirap aminin lalo na kapag ka feeling mo dominant ka dun sa relationship and nagkamali ka, nag-commit ka ng mistake. Ang hirap talaga aminin mo. But, you will know that you're really matured enough if you were able to face and admit that yes, nagkamali ako. And I want to correct those mistakes. Because in that way, your partner would feel that, oh nga naman, tao ka lang. You're not, you're, you're just a human being who can commit mistake and you're not perfect. So, but don't papasok yung love kapag natutunan mo, i-correct ang mali. Number 10, last but not the least, Recognize the power of your words and how to use them. Yes, Kabesh. Ito kasi yung pinakamahirap na part eh. Yung you were saying a lot of things to your partner but you're not even realizing that you're hurting them. Minsan, that's an excuse na hindi ko kasi alam. Pero diba dun sa first topic ko before, if you're really in a serious relationship, you listen to them and you actually very very much into dun sa mga gusto nila at basically you can use the words that can work for your relationship because these words can even make or even break your partner kasi itong mga words na gagamitin mo can give them insecurities can give them heartbreaks kahit di mo sinasadya nakakasakit ka lalo na kapag masasakit na salita ang binipitawan mo. Although, I can't say na ano yung sinasadya mo. Kasi minsan kahit hindi mo sinasadya, talagang nangyayari. But, if you're sensitive enough with your partner, you also know the things that may hurt her. Kaya nga, ba? you also need to make sure that you provide them the words or recognize the power of your words and how to use them so that you cannot hurt your partner as much as possible. And this is very important kasi minsan dahil sa masakit na salita, naghihiwalay ang dalawang mag-asawa or naghihiwalay ang mag-girlfriend and boyfriend. So, if that's being said, always, always remember choose your words before saying it. Kung alam mo makakasakit ka lang, lalo na sa pag-aaway, ito ha, kasi hindi naman natin ina-expect. Hindi naman natin ina-expect na you can say a lot of good words lalo na kapag kagalit ka. 
Pero kung alam mong makakasakit ka lang, then try not to talk. Less talk, less mistakes. Because that words can even break your relationship. So kung talagang mahal mo yung isang tao, try to think first. Think, uh, try to think twice or thrice or fifth time, one hundred times before saying it. Para at the end, wala kang pagsisisihan. Kasi ito, yung madalas na pinagsisisihan ng maraming tao kapag ka naghiwalay na. Bes, ayan, grabe, nagbigyan na naman po ako ng panibagong tips on how to sa about relationship. Sabi ko nga before I let you go, guys, never, ever leave your partner, especially during fire. Alam nyo, ang relasyon, nagkakaroon talaga ng trials yan. It's a normal thing, but it's still up to you on how to save it. Be just because nakaramdam ka ng konting pagkakamali or konting issue, eh, yun na yung end ng relationship. Dapat, give and take tayo. So, at the same time, words of wisdom about love, it's not just because she's not perfect and she's not really good for you. At kung nag-enjoy ka po ngayon sa aking video, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit my notification bell para at ano naman notified ka sa mga next videos ko and again this is Nom from Angel saying happy relationship always comes from a happy wife or happy partner so salamat po and have a wonderful day bye